This has been a crazy year. A year ago, I would not have thought that I would be unboxing a silver play button. I wouldn't be here without you, so thank you for watching my boring videos. All right, we're gonna unbox this thing and then I'm gonna share some reasons why I think you should start a YouTube channel too. All right, so here's the box. Let's open it up. Nice, it looks like my award was inspected and packaged with care by Rick. Thanks, Rick. We have a letter here from YouTube CEO, Susan Wojcicki. It says, you've done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astounding 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. It's crazy. Let's take a look at the play button. I still can't believe it. This is so nice. Let's get it out of this wrapper. I need to figure out where I'm going to put it. It's only going to fit on the top shelf. So I guess I'll move my coat stacker light. By the way, my wife bought me that for our last wedding anniversary. Maybe I can hang the light from the curtain rod. What would MacGyver do? Paracord is like non-sticky duct tape. I'll tie this to the back of the light and hang it from the curtain rod. What could go wrong? Alright, so I just want to cover a few reasons why I think that you should start your own YouTube channel. The first reason is learning. So in order to teach something, you have to understand it yourself. So you'll have to do some research on subjects. And so your learning and teaching and getting better at what it is that you're teaching. So it's a win-win. You're learning and teaching. The next thing is uh, personal branding. So this is going to help you to get a new job, to get new clients. Uh, it proves that you know what you're doing and you're passionate about what you're doing. It takes a lot of work to produce content, so that effort shows. The next reason why you should start your own channel is personal development. So before I started this channel, I, I would never get on camera. That's just not the kind of person that I normally am. I'm more reserved and this channel has made me open up a lot more. Creating videos can help you to improve your social and communication skills. Another reason to start a channel is side income. So this should definitely not be your main reason to start a channel uh, because at first you're not going to make anything and it can take a really long time to even start making a little bit. But once your channel starts to grow, you can make ad revenue, have sponsors, affiliates, and your own products. You'll need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in order to monetize your videos and get ad revenue from YouTube. For sponsors, I got my first sponsor around 30,000 subscribers. Of course, the larger your channel is, the more that you can charge sponsors. Affiliates can be a good way to make a little extra. 
just make sure that if you're promoting something, that it's something that aligns with you and your brand. It's something that adds value and is something that you would actually use. For your own products, it could be branded apparel or digital products like ebooks and courses. Lastly, I want to give you a couple of tips that I hope will help you to get started. First, be consistent with your content uploads. So whatever your circumstances are, if you can upload one video a week, one video every two weeks, one video a month, whatever it is, stick to that. If you're not consistent, your channel is not going to grow. Next, be consistent with your content subjects. So don't be all over the place. Pick a niche or a subject that you're passionate about and stick to it. Don't upload a coding tutorial one week and then the next week a baking recipe. Be consistent with who you are. Don't try to copy someone else. Don't try to be someone who you're not. If I was all over the place acting excited, you would know that that's fake because that's not me. So just be yourself. And it's okay to get ideas from other content creators' videos, but just be sure to make your videos unique. So give it a try. Make a video, and even if you don't publish it, what's the worst that could happen? So again, I want to thank everyone for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. I really appreciate it. Let's see how long it takes to get to a million subscribers. Here's some of my recent subscribers who have made their subscriptions public. Maybe you'll see your name. I'll see you in the next video.